Hi, once again, I'm Teacher Roland, and for this video, we're going to learn about measurement conversion. So we have a set of example here. We have the length and then the weight. So we should know also what what are the units are we going to use for the length. So for example, we have the mm, which is the millimeter, and then the centimeter, and then the meter, and then the kilometer. That is for the length, for the uh, distance or how long. For the weight, we have the mass, so we are going to use the unit, grams, and kilogram, so only two. Okay, for this example, we have a, a set of number line here. So, the number line shows and expressed into larger units and a smaller unit. So, we have here the kilometer and then the meter, and we have another example is the kilogram and then the grams. But first, we'll talk about first the uh, kilometer and meter, which is the unit used for the length. So we have the number line here. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and length. And then for the meters, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and length, and then 5,000. But before we know that, what is A and B will go here first. So this is the conversion or the equivalent of a, uh, a measurement or the units, okay? The equivalent of a unit from a bigger unit or the larger unit to smaller unit or from the smaller unit to bigger unit or the larger unit. So we have here 10 millimeter is equals to 1 centimeter. 100 centimeter is equals to 1 meter. And then 1,000 meter is equals to 1 kilometer. So here in our uh, number line, so we have kilometer and meter. So we'll focus on kilometer and meter. For example, this one. So since 1,000 meter is equals to 1 kilometer, so it means these are equivalent. So 1 is equivalent to 1,000 Meter. So, 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. And then, 2 kilometer is equal to 2,000 meters. And 3, uh, three uh, kilometer is equal to 3,000 meter. And 4 kilometer is equal to black. But, we don't know. Right? And B is equal to 5,000 meter. So, since this is 4 kilometer, and then we have the conversion here. So, 1,000 is equal to 1 kilometer. So, this is 4, so it means this is 4,000. Alright, and so 4,000 meter. Don't forget the unit. Or the unit. Okay? So this one. So since this is 4,000, this is 5,000. So this one is 5 kilometer. So that is the answer. So it means these are equivalent. Right? Equivalent. So. And we'll start, learn also how to convert from smaller unit to bigger unit and for the bigger unit to smaller unit. So what are the operations that we going to use? And we will learn that later after this. Okay, for the kilogram, we'll go back here. For the kilograms, so we have 1,000 grams is equals to 1 kilogram. So since this is 0 0.5, so we we'll start from 0 0.5, then 1. 1.5, 2, and this one is black, I don't know the answer, and 3. So for grams, we have 0, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and black, and 3,000. Okay, since the interval here is 0 0.5, so since this is 1,000, and these are the equivalent of each unit. So, so for kilogram, so we have 0 0.5 kilogram is equal to 500 grams. And 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Same here, right? So that is the, the conversion or the equivalent of 1 kilogram into so 1,000 grams. So we have 1.5 kilogram is equal to 1,500 grams. And 2 kilograms is equal to 2,000 grams. And 
since this is the interval is 0 0.5, so we need to add. Okay, so 1, 1.5 to 2 plus 0 0.5, right? So it means this one is 2.5. So C is equals to 2.5. So since this is 2.5, this one will be what? Letter D will be 2,500. So how do we get the 2,500? So we'll learn that later. And then, this is an example, and then 3 kilograms is equals to 3,000 grams. So that's it. No? So we have a set of example here. So we'll go here. So how about convert larger unit to smaller unit? So how do we convert larger unit to smaller unit? So first, what you gonna do? So, what are the operations that we're going to use? So we need a operation, okay, mathematical operation. For conversion of larger unit to small, smaller unit, so which one is the smaller and the bigger unit? For well, this example, kilometer is a larger unit and meter is a smaller unit. Same with here. So kilogram is a larger unit and graph is a smaller unit. So as you can see the example here, how it goes, right? How it goes. Okay. For larger unit to smaller unit, we need to multiply. So this is the mathematical operation that we're going to use. We need to multiply. And for the con convert the smaller unit to a larger unit, we need to divide. Okay, that's it. So Larger unit to smaller unit multiply. Smaller unit to larger unit is divide. Example. Example here. Now we have four. Four kilometer to meter. So how do we solve this uh, problem? How do we convert this? Uh, 4 kilometer into meter. So since we have here, example, the equivalent of 1,000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. So we need to multiply. Multiply with what? 1,000. So 4 times 1,000. Okay? So the answer is 4,000. So that's it. Right? Multiply by 1,000. So, since this is 1 is equal to 1,000 or 1,000 is equal to 1, so we need to multiply or divide. So, this is the example. So, so this is your answer. So, 4,000 meters. So, 4 kilometers is equal to 4,000 meters. Okay, another example. 3.5. Kilometer to meter. So, what are we going to do? The same. Okay? So, we have 3.5 times 1,000 equals to so multiply 3,000 Okay? So, that's the answer. So, this is how you convert the larger unit to a smaller unit so we need to multiply how about if we convert that into a smaller unit to larger unit so the opposite so we need to divide for example 5,000 meter is equal to kilometer so 5,000 so divide, divide by 1,000, okay, so divide by 1,000, here we need to multiply by 1,000, here we need to divide by 1,000, so that's the answer, five. okay, so that's it, 5,000 is equal to 5 kilometer, okay, 5,000 meters is equal to 5 kilometer, so how about 
This is the, the length. Okay? So how about the weight? The weight for here. So we have 56 kilograms into gram. So what do you think the answer? So since you need we have since we have the 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram, so we're going to use multiplication. So 56 times 1000. So the answer is so multiply 56 times 0, please. So we have 56,000 grams. So we have 56,000 grams. Okay? So this is how about for smaller unit? This is larger unit to a smaller unit. So how about the weight? If we convert it into smaller unit to a larger unit, example, we have 35,000 okay? grams equals to kilogram. So we need to divide by 1,000. So here we multiply by 1,000. And for this time, smaller unit to larger unit, we need to divide by 1,000. So 35,000 divide by 1,000. So cut the zero. Okay. So the answer is 35. So 3,500 grams is equal to 35 kilograms. So that's how we convert uh, the units. So from smaller units to bigger unit or the larger unit and then the larger unit to smaller unit. So as a recap, larger unit to smaller unit, we need to multiply. Smaller unit to larger unit, we need to divide. Okay? And if you have the answer, don't forget to write the what? This one. What do you call this one? The unit. So this is very important. So you need to write the, the unit. Okay? That's all for today. I hope you learn and enjoy. Bye.